Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks in Chandelar, and today I'm gonna go into some more dungeons. <laughs> I was thinking about maybe just going for the blue castle, but then I was checking out the dungeons and I found this. The um, Ar Arjonot's Tomb, I don't know if I pronounce it correct, but I mean this is very close to where I am right now, and I'm look at the cards I can win. Soul Ring, another Mox, a Time Vault. I think Time Vault could be could be quite good and it's just a cool card to play with. It's one of those cards that I don't have in my old school collection, so I really enjoy playing with it. So in this um, in this game, so that could be kind of cool. And I am really close to uh, to this uh, dungeon because look here's Blood Sand Tower. It's north of Blood Sand Tower, so should be able to find it. And what I've done is I've made a special blue white deck. Um, that should be really good here. It's got some life gain. Uh, I'm not playing any black because I'm doing my homework. Because look, no black cards allowed. Life loss carried over. Bad moon permanently in effect. So um, I think the deck that I've made should be pretty good against it. But um, we'll see. We'll see. So we're now here at Sephir Shrine. And we're going to go to Blood Sand Tower. Okay. There we go, people. On our way. Do, 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 do. So let's just go in this village, see where we're at. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Blood Sand Tower is here. Let's have another look at the screenshot. So we see a little bit of swamp and a little village and a lake. Okay, okay, okay. Accept tribute for your mercy. Uh, let's do 40 food. We can do that. Okay, so now I think we're getting really close. I see that tower. Oh, there it is. Look at this. Let's go in. Blood Moon in effect. Here we go. Arjunot's Tomb. Nice little sound effects. So far, okay, our first opponent in sight with some dice in front of it. I love these little, like, skeleton artworks. It's uh, so cool. Okay, there's another one, another dice that blocked him, that's blocking our way. Okay. A lot of dice, I guess that's nice. Uh, ooh, a question, let's do the question. What is the toughness of the wall of dust? The toughness, oh man, I don't know this. Is that four? Yeah, it's a 1-4, okay. I thought of 5 for a moment. So Wall of Dust is pretty cool, right? If Wall of Dust blocks any creature, that creature cannot attack during its controller's next turn. Sweet. Uh, so Wall of Dust. Ooh, so we gotta beat her to get to the first chest. So that's definitely an option. You know what I'll do? I'll go and get a dice. Just to be on the safe side. Ooh, extra life. And then I'm gonna go battle her. Let's do this. Ooh, she's only on eight. Okay, I'm winning the toss as well. I'm on 25. Ooh, only a plains, a trike, a karma, swords to plowshares, northern paladin, time twister, dance of many. Ooh. I mean, the swords in the plains is good, but I, I really need some mana, right? I mean, that's gonna be really important. To ritual into a grudge. What sorts of? There we go. We've got a mox pearl. At least it's mana, but it would be so nice if we can just draw into more lands. I can cast a karma. Oh, another karma. I guess I'm really luck lucky that my opponent is not doing anything else. I guess we're both looking for mana. Okay, there's. Let's drop the karma. I guess I can play just another karma. Not the most exciting game thus far, I agree, but hey. It does the job. 
And I really hope that we can find a soul ring in that box. Ooh, a black lotus. Now I can do something fun. Um, ooh, I could do time twister. I, I shouldn't, I guess. Uh, let's see. Northern Paladin. Sarah. Sarah Angel would make the most sense. Yeah, let's go for Sarah. So we're going to go... Okay, we could do three blue. Oh, oh, it takes all the blue immediately. Wait a minute. I'm going to cancel because I want to have my blue back. I'm going to do Sarah Angel. One, two... Yeah, I guess I have to use up all the blue anyway. I thought maybe I could cast like also the Time Twister, but I can't. Don't have enough mana for that, unfortunately. Uh, let's pass turn. Yeah, the next turn I can win it with the Sarah. Ooh, okay, it's good, good jump block. Good jump block, let's see. Let's attack, have a look at what it does. Yeah, exactly, gonna jump. Um, let's play the Paladin. Oh no, I'm gonna get Mana Burn. I thought I needed that one. That is not good. Also because life loss is carried over. Let's just attack. Okay, let's get the treasure. Hey, Time Vault. Sweet. That's definitely the coolest card in this dungeon to get, the Time Vault. Um, we have opponents everywhere. I think I'm just going to go all the way back and I'm going to challenge that dude over there. Is that a witch? I think so. Arjunot's Stoop. Hey, Sir Angel. Let's go. A warlock. Oh, I get to start again. Luck's on my side so far. I've got Island, I've got a Tim, I've got a Modi, I've got two Angels, Planes, and Control Magic, okay? Um, let's go for Island. Doesn't matter that much. Baz is the turn. Ooh, that is actually really good. Unfortunately for him, I'm starting with that Sarah Angel. Because normally this would be a huge problem, right? If I didn't start with a Sarah, look at my hand. Also low in mana at the moment. He could start emptying my entire hand. Ooh, there's another one. So now I no longer want to attack because he could double block. So, hmm. Okay, find another one. Okay, I got the Tim. I guess I can Tim him to death, no worries. He's on four, four more turns. Yeah, I'm not Dweller is pretty cool card. Um, You know what I'm gonna do? That's what I'm gonna do. Maybe I should have put it on the Sarah though, when he attacks I can block with it, but... Anyway, I wonder if he's gonna go for an El I think with this board state, I would personally go for an Alpha Strike. Talus is one, kind of a non-bow with, uh, with the Bad Moon, right? Hey, gaining life. Ooh, COP Black, that's nice. Let's pass the turn. Yeah, it's stupid. Like, imagine that he wouldn't have had the bad moon. He could, you know, make his uh, Merc Dwellers hippie or other hippie unblockable. That'd be quite good. I always like the combo Taunus' want with Merc Dwellers. Also, Merc Dwellers now is a zombie, right? So you can play this in your zombie deck. It's pretty cool. Oh, boom, boom, boom. Another planes. I mean, I could play out Moat. I guess that's the right thing to do. El Hajash, another really cool card. And that's it, that's the duel, I guess. Exactly. Uh, 
I could get these dice, right? Ooh, another Sarah Angel. Another opponent. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, I feel good when you start with the Sarah. And I can start again. Wow, winning three coin flips in a row. Oh, my auntie's Black Lotus. Okay. <laughs> and it's still, you know, that's kind of tense, even though I have a Sarah Angel to start with. Um, let's go for Tundra and Tundra, I guess, and attack. I mean, there's there's always a small chance that you, you might lose, you know, and I really don't want to lose the, the Lotus. Even though it's a very small chance, I know, but still. Uh, let's go planes. Let's pass turn. So next turn I can cast Thunder Spirit. But I don't even have to. I can just finish it now. Hey, okay, that's good. Ooh, there's treasure. I got a Mahamoti. Hey, free treasure. Soul Ring. Dang. That is epic. Um, okay, I need to beat this vampire and then I can go to the last chest. Uh, which I guess is the Mox Ruby. Play first. Ooh, what do I have? Mox Pearl. That's it, but I do have a Swords in hand. I gotta take a mulligan, I feel. Anti being the Mox Jet, by the way. Mm. Let's see. Ooh, Black Lotus. Uh, planes. Oh, wow. Shall I do turn one Karma? I'm gonna do turn one Karma. I mean, I've never played a turn one Karma, you know? It's just, it's fun to do. Karma! Wow, like this is insult over injury, having your Modi turn one and then having your Karma turn one. Oh, and he's not gonna play out any lands, smart. Very clever, Vampire Lord, very smart. Oh Lord, I mean, I get it, he doesn't wanna take damage from Karma, but this is not the way, Vampire Lord, I can tell you that. This just means that you're gonna lose more. Um, let's see, island, let's attack. Pass the turn. Yeah, time walk, I mean, we don't even need it. We don't even need it. Okay, so the last one's there. I'm gonna go, and I know I'm playing a little bit uber safe, I know, um, but I'm gonna go all the way back to get the dice over there. Because I really want to have that Mox Ruby. There we go. Walking, walking, walking. Sarah Angel. Wow. I mean, these dice have been pretty good to me. I've, I've got a Sarah, Sarah, and I've got a Modi. Pretty insane. And all my opponents, you know, were really low on life, right? 8 life, 12 life. So, yeah. Can't complain. This has been a very successful dungeon run. Well, I have to beat one of these still, so. A Warlock, okay. Flip, ooh, lose the first flip in the dungeon. Nope, but he lets me start, okay. Um, interesting hand, like a lot of lands and two dancing scimitars. But hey, when you have a Sarah to start with, and 28 life, and look, he only has eight. Oh, I'm forgetting to play a land. <laughs> it's just, if, it, if it's going this easy, you know, you don't even pay attention to that anymore. Look at this, Black Lotus. Now I can play my, uh, my Sarah Angel, my second one. That's it. Okay, let's get the card. Hey, Mox Ruby, Mox Ruby, Mox Ruby. Um, let's exit, I guess. And let's have a look, because now we need to make space for these cards. Mm. So Mox Jet, I guess I could take out. Although, I mean, you would, you should play with all the Mox, and I know that, but I kind of like it when you're playing like 
blue and white, you only play the, the, the on-color moxin, and it's just a thing. I don't know why, but I prefer to do that. Um, although I think, like, for my end boss deck, I should definitely just play all the moxin. You know, it's important. Anyway, 61 cards. Hmm... You know, I'm fine. Oh, yeah, Northern Paladin can go out, I guess. Oh, yeah, Karmas need to go out because this, this is the deck that I built. So what other cards could go in? Archaeologist, maybe, just for fun. Put Archaeologist in. I guess I first, before I start looking at decks, I first need to have a look at what do I want to do. Ooh, Library of Alexandria, north of Aloran Hole. Okay, where is Aloran Hole? What does it contain? Life loss carried over. Marsh Viper, in effect, contains small green creatures. Okay. Small green creatures. So maybe, because my deck three. I think this deck could be quite good against the green creatures. It's got a lot of weaknesses to kill them. Hmm. I don't know. I could just stick with deck one, I guess. I could stick with deck one. So you got an archaeologist in there. Hmm. Green ward. That's kind of funny. Why not? When do you ever play with green ward? Ah, yeah. Moats would be good. I've already got two moats. Um, maybe a Wrath. Another Thunder Spirit, maybe? Do I have a CLP green? I don't really need CLP green. Do I have maybe another Moti? I do. Uh, let's see. A Tim is kind of good against the small stuff. I guess I could take out the Thunder Spirits. Mm, and a control magic. Put in an extra tin. I don't think it matters much. Anyway, um, let's have a look. Uh, Azar's Crypt. Azar's Crypt. North of Aloran Hole. So we got to find out where Aloran Hole is. Aloran Haven. Mm, here, Aloran Hole. Okay, so we're going to go to Aloran Hole. Whoop, that way. And then it's, was it north or south of Aloran Hole? North of the hole, okay. Good, I like this. Kind of going to all the, uh, all the dungeons. All the dungeons. Ooh, the Sea Dragon is attacking Aloran Hole. Okay. Hey, duel the sea dragon. Ooh, time walk though. We got a time walk. Oh, I don't want to lose a time walk. Let's play first. Start the duel. This hand's looking good. Island, Tim, a control magic, factory planes, lotus. Wow. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go for island. And next turn, I'm going to play lotus, plane, Sarah Angel. Let's go. Plains, Lotus, Sarin Jewel. Then we'll attack. He's on a four turn clock. The mighty sea dragon. Giant tortoise. Oh, of course, green ward for the dungeon. Yeah, that, <laughs> that's not very useful. So Giant Tortoise is a card that I actually think is quite good, you know, because if you keep it untapped, it's a 1-4 for 2 mana, which is quite good. Um, I'm planning to use this actually in a real paper deck with um, Diamond Valley. Because it stops lines, it stops factories, it's, it's quite good against those aggressive decks that you see a lot at the moment. Uh, let's go for Island. Uh, let's attack. Let's attack. 
Ping. And then we'll take an extra turn. Let's attack again. And ping. I'm not sure why I'm pinging in my own main face, but okay. And passes a turn. You know what? I'm going to play a green ward on my Timmy. Why not? Just because I can. Ooh, yay! Freed! Won these cards. Ooh, my magic bag. Is my magic bag full again? Really? I thought I sold a lot of stuff, or didn't I? Um, let's do that now, maybe. Red. Okay, let's sell these. Oh, pain in the heart, because I think it's a beautiful card, but... Okay, what else do we have that we really need? So, okay, animate debt, so we have an extra, so we're just going to sell the extra. I mean, curse lands, it's, it's great, we're not going to play it. We're not going to play it. Dark Rituals, I can sell one. What else do we have? Drudge, El Hajash, Evil Presence. Mm -hmm. A lich. I still have a lich. That's pretty cool. You know what? I'm going to make a statement, people. I'm going to sell my Mind Twist. Because I, I don't play Mind Twist. Mm. Let's see. What else do we have? Counter spell. So we can sell a counter spell. Mm hmm. Am I going to play Mana Short? It's a super cool card, but I'm not going to play it anyway. Not now, at least. Um, yeah, Slide of Mind. I can sell one. And I guess I can sell a lot of lands, by the way. I probably have too much lands. Check out the lands. Um, exactly. City of Brass. At least we can sell one. Desert, we can sell one. Factories, we can sell one. Swamps. Yeah, maybe. Maybe we need it. Maybe we do. The other basics I've already sold. Bayou, I'm not going to play with. Um, Savannahs, I'm not going to play with. Let's see what else. I guess we could... So this, so this, okay. So we, we, I've made some space. I've made some space. I've done my best. Trade white amulets for any sorceries. No thank you. Uh, I'm at Aloran Hole, right? Was it north of Aloran Hole? North. Okay, so it's near a bush. Let's have another look. We have a house near a bush. Okay. Cool beans. Maybe it could be. Yeah, there it is. There's the chaos orb. Ha <laughs> sweet. You know, before I enter, before I enter, I want to actually take a screenshot. Yeah, I like the way this dungeon looks. Like this half chaos orb, very very cool. Okay, let's go in. Marsh Viper in effect. Okay. Ooh, 25 life. Okay, we've got a crawl worm, I guess. Let's play against the Enchantress. Okay, there we go. Did coin toss. Ooh, Mox Sapphire is anti. Uh, okay, I got a Plains and a Sword Supply Share, so that's really good. Let's just play it out. Let's pass the turn. Okay. I'm 
just gonna destroy it straight away. Oh, look at that. I can go time walk and then cast my tin. I'm gonna do that. I think against these green decks that tend to go really quickly, you just wanna play the time walk for the tempo advantage. You know, especially after the wild growth, you know, because now she's gonna have three mana. Ideally, she would now, you know, play green, play enchantress, next turn start, you know, rolling off with all the enchantments. Um, let's go island. I mean, look at look at this deck. This is silly. And now we can have another extra turn. We get a strip mine. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to strip the wild growth. And I'm going to pass the turn. I don't want to use my other time walk. Not yet, you know. Oh, forgetting to ping. That's not clever. Let's pass. So remember to ping. Hey, an island. Okay. So we just need one more island and then we can cast our Mamoti. Papa Moti incoming. Ooh, Lon or else. We've got a target. Oh, Lotus. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Now I can do Black Lotus, Mamoti, and Time Walk. Let's make some blue mana. Let's play the Lotus. Oh, sorry, the Time Walk, I mean. Let's play the Moti. Let's ping him up, or let's ping her to 10. Take the extra turn. Yeah, my deck is so overpowered at the moment. I think that the only thing that can really stop me is if I'm just if I just don't draw any lands or only lands. Okay. Oh, again, I'm forgetting to ping. Stupid. I am going to do something odd, which is. Sorts my own Mahamoti. Why? Because life loss is carried over. So I just want to gain some extra life. I mean, you never know what you're going to run into in these dungeons. You know, maybe I'm just not going to draw into any lands and I've got a cushion of 30 lives before I die. Ooh, a thicket. A thicket basilisk. Let's attack. Put him on two. Hmm, I guess it would have been better not to attack with the boars because then I could play the swords on my own boars to gain some more life. That would have been better, probably. Hey, there's the enchantress. Cool, cool, cool. Let's see, maybe I draw, no. I thought maybe I'm gonna draw into something big. To sort. So I'm going to sort my own scimitar and then I'm going to ping and win the game. Okay, let's continue. Hey, I got a Timmy and there's a chest. Hey, the Mishra's Workshop. Super cool. Mish funny story. Mishra's Workshop has been in my collection since 1995 and I traded it for a revised Vesuvian double ganger and some other stuff. I can't remember, but it's a card that's been in my possession for a very long time. Um, I don't want to take the dice because I want to keep the Tim, so I'm going to attack the Forest Dragon. Hmm. Forest Dragon won the toss. Green Ward is my ante. Um, I've got Mamoti, Tim, Brain Geyser, and Lance, so it's actually pretty okay hand. I mean, it's a bit slow, but I can take some hits. Hey, my brand new soul ring. So we're going to cast the soul ring and then we can play the other Tim. And we can pass. Oh, forgetting to ping again. And 
does pass. I guess we can ping the Marsh Viper to death. I mean, maybe we should. Why not? Let's do another island. Um, let's attack first with the angel. Let's play Malmoti. Yeah, this deck is, is really crazy good. Ooh, allure on my Tim. I love it. I love it, my man. I mean, I could play a Brain Geyser for, let's see, one, two. I'm going to play it for four because I'm hoping to draw into a Swords and I can Swords my own Malamoti for some extra life. Nope, it's not there. Okay. Then I guess we're just going to win the game. Okay, let's see what else. Ooh. Trike, wow. Let's go against this Enchantress with the Trike in our pocket. Remember, we have Library of Alexandria in this dungeon. Ooh, one to toss, gonna play first. Let's see, I've got a Modi, Control Magic, a Tim, and Lance, which is actually pretty good. I'm gonna go Island and pass. I guess I could have, I should have attacked with the Trike, right? Probably. Okay, there's a Lanawer. You know what? I'm just gonna go on blocking duty. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna be relaxed. I wanna get that Tim out first. Let's play that Tim and the next turn I can start mowing down some creatures. Okay, we've got an island. Ooh, you know what I'm gonna do? Oh, this is gonna be funny. I'm going to be really mean, <laughs> just, just because I can. I want to kill the uh, Enchantress on uh, poison, with poison counters. So I'm just going to try to do that. I know it's mean. I know you shouldn't play with your food, but I just think this is funny. Uh, let me see, what can I do? A scimitar, why not? Passing the turn. So I need five more swings, four more swings to make it happen. You can see the poison counters here, two poison counters. Ooh, okay. I can I can actually kill, yeah, I can kill the boars. One, two. I mean, it's nice to, to play Tim together with Trike or together with, for example, Lightning Bolt. attack here okay four poison uh you know what i'm just going to keep the modis in hand I, there's no need to play them out i am a little bit maybe should have played the strip strip to land yeah exactly because here there's another boars stupid if i would have played the strip mine she wouldn't have had enough um this is annoying. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to attack with the flyer to in hoping that he's going to attack with the boars. Attack with the boars. It's open. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, that is annoying. I think my, my big plan to... To kill her with poison is not going to work. Again, I forgot to strip. If I would have stripped, she she wouldn't have been able to play out these creatures. So it's just stupid. And I'm going to strip way too late. I get that. Um, I guess I can still attack here with the scimitar. It would have been so much fun to kill her with poison. Oh, allure! Oh, <laughs> Oh, I'm in trouble. I'm going to lose my Viper. No. But it is cool to see Lure in action. Go, Enchantress. Do it. Oh, man. Okay, we got a trike. 
Guess we could cast Modi. Um, can I win already? No, I'm missing one point of damage. Unfortunately, still attack with the scimitar, of course. A little bit bumped that I can kill her with her own poison creature, but maybe, maybe next game. Cockatrice, okay, that's good, Cockatrice. That is good. Because mm, I'm going to attack with these two. She's going to block the Modi, I assume, exactly. She's going to take one, go to three. Uh, let's play. Oh, wait, I could play the trike and win. Oh, stupid. Okay, one more turn, I guess. A web. Oh, I love it. A web on your Dirkwood boars. I like it. This is really a deck that needs five mana, the one of the enchantress. Hey, there's the other chest. So only one chest so far though. So this is the second. Hey, an ivory tower. Oh yeah, I didn't don't get it though. Wheel of Fortune, nice. Don't play red, maybe I should splash it. It's a really good card. Um Ooh, questions. Which of these spells has banning ability? Nalapni Dragon, Royal, Wind Seeker, Sand Tower, Plague Reds, or Time Elemental? That's the Nalapni Dragon. Yeah. Um, I want to go here to do the other question. Let's, let's go for it. Ooh, take. I don't have any. I got to take a mulligan here. It's a, although I got Mox Sapphire Ancestral Recall, shall I keep the hand? I'm going to keep the hand because I also have an Ivory Tower. Oh, I got Poison Counters. Oh, there's a lot of her. Uh, she's ramping up the place. Okay, let's do Mox Sapphire Ancestral Recall. Okay, luckily I found an island. Now I gotta discard a card though. Um, you know what, I think I'm gonna discard a Sarah. I mean, I just don't wanna discard the green ward because I just really wanna use it in this dungeon. Oh man, it's not good. Oh, it's swords, no mana. Oh, we should have taken a mulligan. I'm on 38. I mean, that's not the problem. Problem is the poison counters, right? I'm on four poison counters, so three more swings with the Viper. Oh, man, that's bad. Um, throw away Brain Geyser. Six poison counters. Oh, no. <laughs> Am I getting punished for being a little bit cocky? I was a little cocky, wasn't I? But I thought... Mux Sapphire, Ivory Tower, um, Accessor Recall. Maybe I was overconfident. Um, oh, man. I am going to throw away the Green Ward. Six Poison Counters. Oh, God. I need one land. If I have one land, if it's a white one, I can Swords. If it's a blue one, I can play a Tim and at least block the Viper. Okay, there's a play. It's good. Oof. Oof. Whew. Okay, um, I'm going to pass, pretending that I'm going to die, and then I'm going to source. But I'm on eight poison. Oh, man, this is really, this is really close. Eight poison counters. Um, I have Wrath of God, but I cannot play it out yet. Uh, I've got Moat, but I don't have the double white. I can control magic. Let's control magic with Cockatrice. And then I'm going to play out the Tim, and I'm going to start shooting away those Lanaware Elves, and I'm back in the game. But that came a little bit too close for comfort. Okay, there we see the Fajurin. Um, I'm actually going to strip something. 
because if I know the deck of the enchanters well enough, she really needs to go to five mana, right? Oh, she's got the Lanor Elves, of course, stupid. I can start killing the Elves next turn. We'll see. Some regeneration. Should have played it on the thicket. Mm, I forgot to ping, I believe. That's stupid. A trike. Ooh, that would be quite nice with this board. Um, I'm just going to pass. Just have to remember to, to, to kill an elf. Oh, a lure. Oh, a lure. Oh, that's so good. At least I can, I can save my Tim. That's something. Oh, he's not even going to attack. Okay. Uh, ooh, Time Walk is a little bit tempting. I'm going to kill an elf. Play a Time Walk. I, why am I not attacking with the Cockatrice? <sighs> um, let's kill another elf main. Because then he doesn't have that extra mana. He's already on five. Like I think, I think he's got more than enough. Was she... Oh, an instill energy. I love instill energy. Oh, man. She's drawing so many cards. Enchantress deck doing what it wants to do. Another Enchantress. Time Twister. Oh, I'm going to play Time Twister. Why not? Hey, okay. I've got Lotus. I give you an Archaeologist. Cool. I can play Archaeologist. Um, let's go planes. But if I play, he can just attack with the thicket. So I guess he should first. Although I can play green ward or on no, but then still gonna die to the thicket, I believe. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Should I cast a moat now and then archaeologist next turn? I think that's I think that's the way to go. Okay, and then I can attack with this dude. Pass turn. A web. Oh man, he's drawing so many cards. I'm jealous. It's like he's the blue player. So I can play Archaeologist and I can get the Lotus back, but also there is a, um, a Triskelion in the bin. Look at him go though, like I love this. This is what is what her deck wants to do, so this is great. You go, Enchantress, you show how your deck, you know, you manifest your deck. Um I'm gonna play a planes. I'm gonna play a green ward on my archaeologist. I'm gonna attack. Gonna kill a Lonora Elf main face. I mean, I know there's no tranquility in here, but a tranquility would be actually, well, it wouldn't be great because you destroy all your own enchantments, but you could get rid of the, uh, the moat and you can start attacking. Wow, a lure on my Tim. That is funny. That is funny. She's drawing so many cards. Like if she would have had an ivory tower, it would get her back into the game. <coughs> hey, Ancestral Recall. Let's play Recall. Why not? Mm. Oh, of course, the trike got shuffled back in. That is true. Okay, so we got the Lotus. And now what I can do, this is kind of nice, like trike and archaeologist together. It's kind of cool. Well, let's attack. Put her on two, or on six, I mean. Passes the turn. <laughs> this is so crazy. <laughs> She's drawing so many cards. This is insane. If she finds a way to get rid of my moat, like, I'm really toast. 
Uh, okay, where, where, where are we at now in the game? Okay, thinking. Um, I could go trike, one damage, Tim, one damage. Kill that, I could go this, one damage. And I can kill my own trike, because then I can get it back with the archaeologist. Um, let's go factory, let's go this, double white, let's get back to trike. There we go, we're gonna play out the trike. I can already win, actually, because I can attack with the trace, put him on five. No, 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 I cannot. Missing a point. Um, no, she's not tapped out, so I cannot kill any of the other enchantresses. Well, I guess I just got to pass. <clears throat> pass is a turn. There's a cockatrice, okay, okay, that's pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna kill the cockatrice. Oh, that was stupid that I killed it. Oh wait, I can use my Tim to kill my own trike, then get to the trike back. I'm thinking, by the way, my Tim has a lure. So if I if I would have just attacked, wouldn't have used my tri counters, but just attacked with the Tim, they all had to block it. Trike would have gone through. Oh well, magic is complicated. Um, let's pass the turn. Let's pass the. Coral Helm, oh, you gotta, you gotta love these decks, Coral Helm. Why is, why is Coral Helm in there? Is that because you're drawing a lot anyway because of your enchantress and then you can use it for counters? Is Skull of Arm in there, perhaps? Ooh, Ivory Tower, oh, it just comes a little bit too late, but. It's been a fun game. I've enjoyed, I've enjoyed looking at your deck. A what? Oh wait, there's a whip on the thicket. I, I didn't, I didn't see that. I didn't see that. I did not see that. I'm gonna steal your big huge thicket. Um, uh, let's see. What else do I need to do? Uh, let's do island. Let's get the lotus back because why not? Play the Lotus. Oh wait, I could have pinged my own trike, get the trike back. Oh, well. This game, I'm sorry guys, this game is taking way too long. I could have could have killed her like two days ago, but I, I, do, I have to say I'm enjoying the board state. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, let's get you to two, get you down to two, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna make this play just because I can. I know I can also attack with the cockatrice and win, but this is more fun. Now I'm gonna use the archeologist. I'm gonna get back to trike. Now I'm gonna play the trike. I think this is one of my more fun ways to win a game of magic. I actually have four uh, archeologists in my collection. I, I really need to, to build a proper deck with them. Hey, and then it's the end, right? Okay, that's good. Uh, let's do the question. Which of, what is the total casting cost of Junin Afrit? That is three, right? A three, three flyer for three, yeah. The problem with the Junin is that upkeep cost, you know, that's the issue. Um, I'm gonna go back, get my dice. Then the question is, should I fight this dude or this dude? The Beastmaster or the Dragon? Hmm. Okay, we get some extra life, that's good. 
Problem though is, and you saw that in the previous game, the poison counters. That is the issue. Hmm. I wonder where that final chest is. I guess there's here still an opening before I duel this dragon, so... Okay, let's get some more dice. More life. Okay, so there's nothing here. Although, although here is something. Um, you know what? I'm going to go for the Beastmaster. Maybe it's a mistake, maybe not, but I'm going to do it. Ooh, Beastmaster won the toss. Let's see. Plains, Islands. Hmm. I mean, I've got the Time Walk, so I guess next turn I can cast Time Walk and hopefully find another land, cast Tim. Let's go Island, let's go Time Walk. Just play another Time Walk. Oh, man. That is a bummer, no Lance. That is a bummer. Okay, there we go. Island. Um, ooh, it's kind of tempting to play the Twister, but I'm going to go for the Tim, past turn. I mean, I could take another hit from the Viper, I guess. I'm not going to block. Six. It's a little bit risky. Ooh, Ashwan Jaguar, Hunting Angels. That's actually pretty good. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to Raph. I'm going to Raph. Or should I go Moat? Hmm. I should do one of the two for sure. Um, I could also go Dancing Scimitar, and then if he attacks, I can block and ping. I, mm, you know what? I'm going to ping and Wrath. I'm going to ping and Wrath. Also, because you want to get rid of the Jaguar that's hunting angels. I mean... It's just not ideal. Oh, this one is again hunting angels. Oh, how great. Good to have you back, Chuck. Um, let's play Scimitar. Because then if he attacks, I can block on Scimitar. Don't take any damage next turn. I can attack and then I can always cast a moat. That's kind of my, my way of thinking here. Giant spider. Naps asp. Okay, okay. Uh, moat. Let's just double click. There's the moat. Um, don't, no need to attack. He can block with the uh, spider. A Dirkwood Wars. Mm, I guess I can play a Time Twister, or sorry, Brain Geyser. Done. Brain Geyser on myself. Let's play the Pearl. So now I've got a Swords. Let's pass. Probably gonna sort the Jaguar again. Uh, okay, so now I'm on end step, so I'm gonna sort the Jaguar. There's a trike. That's really good at this board. Mm. Let's pass. I could have attacked, and if it would have blocked, then the spider could have killed the spider with the trike counters, but yeah, you know, is that really. The way you want to go. Oh, there's Timberwolves. Oh, sorry for the yawning. Uh, let's play planes. Like now we can cast the Modi. We can see where this is going. Right next turn attack with the Modi. I wonder if he's going to band here. Oh, wow, wow, wow. I need to respond. Yeah, I'm such a good magic player. I am so good. Ooh, a green ward. Oh, that is just funny. That is funny. I'm going to play a green ward on my Modi. I'm going to take an extra turn after this one. And I'm going to time twister. Don't you just love fair magic? Uh, let's play this one. Uh, play 
Plains, Ancestral Recall. Wow, okay, Ancestral Recall. I mean, I guess I could swords. I could swords away then. You know, let's just destroy his entire board. Now that we're, I'm sorry, Beastmaster. I'm, I, I'm, I'm actually not sorry. It's kind of funny. Where are your creatures now, Beastmaster? Oh, this deck. This deck is just ridiculous. You know, it's so strong. Uh, I don't have enough mana to end time walk and play another Sarah. Okay, and just another Sarah. Oh, let's attack with everything. I wonder if we're going to see the Library of Alexandra behind the Beastmaster. Or if I have to defeat some more creatures still. Okay, uh, let's kill the wolves. Uh, let's first do time walk. Play a trike. Attack, attack, attack. Um, I guess we can win already. Why take the extra turn? Bye bye, Beastmaster. Let's see, is the treasure there? There's dice. We get a Modi, okay. Is the treasure there? Is the treasure there? No. Oh man. The dungeon tricked me. Azar's crypt tricked me. Fair enough. Let's play against the Prismats. Let's see what I get. Um, Plains, Time Walk, Island, Mode, Sarah, Plains. Wow. Oh, let's go Plains. Let's just attack. I can Time Walk. Put him on seven. I mean, Marsh Viper would be a pretty good card if it would be zero to cast. <laughs> to attack. Like, I've tried poison a few times in old school. It's really tough. Let's go time walk. Let's go this. Let's attack for five. Um, let's pass turn. I'm going to Ancestral Recall on end step. Yeah, let's Ancestral Recall now. Yeah, pick up another Time Walk. Uh, actually, I, I don't even need the Time Walk. Because I got the Trike. Let's attack. Oh, I put a damage on my own trike. Okay, well, <laughs> it doesn't matter. Okay, let's get to the chest. The chest. Yay, Library of Alexandria. Sweet. Okay, I'm going to exit. Okay, wow. This has been a very successful run, but my, my deck is ridiculously strong at the moment. I mean, this is just nonsense. Let's see. We've got a few more dungeons to go. Balance Fort Felvin's Cane. Yeah, I could go for that. Life loss carried over. Oh, this is Blue Castle. Okay. Flood permanently ineffective. That's it. Okay. Castle Necros, the Black Castle. Okay, Black Castle done. So there's basically only one more dungeon that I have to go in. That's this one. Soul Chant Monastery. It sounds so nice, like Soul Chant Monastery. Uh, monastery, I guess you should pronounce it. Anyway, I'm going to save the game. 
and let's be responsible and also save the backup. And um, I see you guys again next week where I will be going into this last dungeon. And then I think it is really, really time to go into the blue castle. And then we're kind of wrapping it up, right? Wrapping up the campaign. It's kind of insane. It's been such a fun run. Uh, but hey, we still have that one dungeon to go. And then we do the blue castle. And then we do the end boss. So I guess we've got maybe three more episodes in us, right? Anyway, uh, thank you for watching. And have, have a great Sunday. Enjoy this Sunday. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? Her light of morning. Way, hey, up she rises. Way, hey, up she rises. Way, hey, up she rises. Her light in the morning. Put him in the long boat until he's sober. Put him in the long boat until he's sober. Put him in the long boat until he's sober. Her light in the morning. Way, hey, up she rises. Way.